Louisville has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. First and ten. Ball on the 48. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike two, Mike two. Mike 87. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven on the Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Choose the mic. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Louisville staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Down. Throws a strike over the middle. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29. Quick throw. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Number 64 on the tackle at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Second Short one. yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Good out 
outside run there. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And this play is number eight on the drive. Down, White 87. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They'll make the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. The sack makes this a fourth and very low. They're coming after this putter. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. He's taken down right around the 34. Stuff. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Down. Blue seven. He's scrambling. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and he's tackled at the 47. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. He's tackled at the 39. We've played one. Still no score. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Choose the mic. Sit down. Motion. Seven. Motion. Motion. Quick throw, picked off. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Brought down at 
the 41. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. This one's going deep to the end zone. Intercepted. The pressure up front is really what did it. The coverage was good, and maybe it confused him, but it was the heat that forced the bad throw. From their own 20-yard line. First down. Fumble! It's recovered. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. And he tackles him hard at the 21. And he gets a yard on the run. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play from their own 21-yard line. It's third down. Two, Mike, two. Let's go, let's get this ball back for the offense. Let's go. Yeah. Kill, kill. Yellow seven. Three, three, three. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're gonna try to block this one. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Nice yardage on the run back. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. And they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. and long here after the sack. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. him down at the 19. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and That'll stuffed it. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. White 87. And he's leveled at the 20-yard line. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Booming kick. 
Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. Called his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. He's going to try and scramble. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle around the 48-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Get on the ball, get on the ball, get on the ball. Kill it, motion. Scrambling around. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So the sack makes this a second and long. for his tight end over the middle, and he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Number 44 on the tackle at the 45-yard line. That makes it very sad. Pressure got to him, and it's picked off. Tackle made right around the 30. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First and 10. Ball on the 30. He's scrambling. They bring their quarterback down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Caught with room to work. That's a great tackle at the 18. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. the middle for a nice game. Slings it. And down he goes at the 11-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Virginia could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Nice kick, plenty of distance, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the field. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And they got him for a loss. We've still got a half of football remaining. Virginia's got a three-point lead.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's the that's the conundrum you get it. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Virginia's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at about the 35. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Push him out at about the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. Third down. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. That makes it first and ten. one away. From the 43-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. In a perfect roll, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Virginia is up by three. the 30-yard line from their own 30-yard line it's first down and 
And as he throws, and this one's going to be intercepted. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds, right around the 36-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He's got it out to his tight end. He's knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and two. Watch nine, watch nine. Here we go, here we go. Damn, blue seven. <laughs> Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of five yards. From the 17 yard line, first down. Here's the throw, I don't think he got anything on that. This is the eighth play of this drive. Steps out of bounds at the 10. Gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Watch the slap, watch the slap, watch the slap. Caught and he's hit immediately. They tried a little play fake that time and got maybe a yard. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. around the seven-yard line. I'm not necessarily crazy about the play call, but what can I say? It did work, and that's really all that matters. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Brought down at about the nine-yard line. Ball inside the 10-yard line. It's second down. is out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop around the nine-yard line. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. Just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 43-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense, outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. There's a play fake. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he tackles him hard at the 36. First and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 47. So at the end of the third quarter, Louisville leads it 7-3. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. He's on the run. And he's taken down right around midfield. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 50. Down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. At the 47-yard line. Third down. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Mike two, Mike two. Get it Looks middle, got his back. Tackle made at the 42. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. He scrambled, and he's level at the 37. Second down and five. Ball on the 37 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. And he hits him hard at the 18 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. run up the middle. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 12th play of the drive. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Two the mic. Bill 78. Motion. 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 He's going to try and scramble. Touchdown. And they take the lead. They weren't able to defend the quarterback scramble, and they give up six. And he's one of those quarterbacks who can do this when he's close to the goal line. He'll pump fake, then take off, or he'll put his head down and crash it in. Anything goes with this guy. And he converts the extra point. 
It was a 12 play 76 yard drive and it's good for seven points. It looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Zips it to the tight end, and down he goes around the 28-yard line. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. From the nine yard line, first down. Just under two to go in the game. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. On the ball, on the ball. Hustle back, hustle back. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 28-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 24. Three, maybe four yards on a scramble. That makes it second and six. Get on the ball, get on the ball, get on the ball. Nice run, and he's brought down. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they'll bring in the goal line set for this one. Up the middle for a nice game. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He's tackled at the six-yard line. That brings up second and one. And he stops the clock with a spike. This is the 10th play of this drive. Under a minute left. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. So they bring out the kicker to tie this game up. A make will most likely mean overtime, a miss, and well, that's it. And it sails through the uprights. Louisville staff has got to know that they've got a guy like this that can put him in a shot to tie the game. Well, it's one thing to be able to count on the player during the game, but late in the game, when, when everything is at stake, to be able to have a quarterback to be able to lead you down calmly like that and get in the field goal range, it definitely makes that offensive coordinator feel good that he's got him on his side. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This is what it all comes down to, right? This is why we love this game. Football scooped up by the defense. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He makes
takes it to the 32-yard line. They bring him down. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled, so we're going to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. He's scrambling. Brought down around the 20-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. From the 20-yard line, second down. And he's hit immediately. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Six yards there on the option keeper. They're about four yards away here on second down. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score. Now let's see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. He makes the PAT. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Swings it out there incomplete. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. Check. That makes it second and ten. On the ground with the tailback. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. The cavalry's coming, and they make the stop at the 26-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings us to the The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Old-time football today. Low-scoring defensive battle, and it's final. Louisville, 17. Virginia, 10. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.